All right, it is December. The snow's on the ground. The Christmas trees are up, and it's time for everyone's best of list. <laughs> yeah. And since we're the Bloody Screen Podcast, we're gonna start out with. Well, the video games are basically done this year. We're still waiting for the last bit of movies that come rolling out. So we're going to start with our video games best of award list. And for just for people to know, we are doing this individually. So today's, which one you're listening to, is Nick's best of list. His, oh. um, you know, we have awards such as Game of the Years, uh, his top Game of the Years, his worst Game of the Years, biggest disappointment, Biggest surprise and an award to whatever the hell he wants it to be. Uh, let's, you know, uh, you want to start out with what? A low note with the worst of, or what do you want to start out with? Sure, we'll start out with the worst. All right, worst of list. How many did you do exactly? Did you just do three? Yeah, I did three. All right, and three worst games. What's number three? Gears of War Judgment. Whoa, ho, ho. Gears of War Judgment pissed you off enough to be on your worst of list. It did. Oh damn. Uh, you know, give me a uh, besides. I already know the reason, but give yeah. the people the reason why this. It makes... it changed too much in one game, and it did not feel like Gears of War. I I have to, I agree with you right there. That was my biggest complaint of it too. Is Fucking change shit on that. Like, I know it's sound, we're sound like a couple of fanboys right now. Like, don't change anything, but don't change the way the game plays, as I mean, if you're gonna make a prequel, make it right like Halo did. For the most part, yeah. I mean, Reach was pretty cool, I'll admit. Reach is pretty cool, so. Yeah. And you know what Reach did? They didn't change the gameplay mechanics. They didn't change, you know, how the story structure is. They're just, you know, uh. Yeah, Judgment kinda was on my fuck you list a little bit, but. Okay. All right, number two. Aliens, Colonial Marines. <laughs> I really have a feeling this is going to be on most of our lists. <laughs> uh, because I think you, me, Dustin, and Scott all played this game. Yeah. So it it om- This game was so bad it almost made number one, but it lost out to Anarchy Reigns. Oh, 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 all right, all right. So, we all know why, you know, we don't even need to describe why Aliens Colonial Marines is bad. But why is Anarchy Range your fuck you game of the year? Because it had a stupid story, dumb game, dumb repetitive gameplay, uh-huh. and unlike Aliens, I could not even beat it. It was so bad. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of what my list consists of, too, is shit that I was like, I, I'm not even going to try to finish this. But I have to, I have to agree with all those points. I didn't hate it as much as you did, apparently. Oh no! Well, considering that game just kind of gave me a big fuck you, I was like, okay, I'm not doing this. <laughs> and this is not good enough for me to restart because you froze. Oh, oh, did it freeze on you? Yeah, like oh, it wow. got, it got to the point where I was fighting an enemy that I couldn't do any damage to. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So I was like, nope, that okay, that happened. <laughs> done. Sending it back. Done. 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 <laughs> That gets you, and uh, that is Nick's fuck you game of the year, and RQ Reigns. All right, what what is your next category you want to go to? Yeah, well, well, let's change the pitch, and I'll go for my top three. Okay, top three, number three, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, ooh, nice choice, yes. nice choice. I enjoyed the ever living shit out of that game. <laughs> Never played any other Tomb Raider game, but I fucking loved this one. Does it make you really excited for a sequel? It does actually. Yeah, me with, with hot new teenage Laura. Or 20-year-old Laura. I was like, whoa, 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 she's not jailbait. She's she's all <laughs> legal and shit. I think and, she, I think they say she's like 22. Oh, yeah. Talk, and talk about a girl who goes through literally, you know what? In the beginning, she gets that whole, like, steel thing, a steel rod through her side. Right there, I would have been done. I'd have been <laughs> like, yeah, I'm dying here now. I'm, I am not pulling myself off of this. I'm going to die, maybe scream for help, and I'm dead here. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, uh, that yeah, fantastic game. I have to I, no disagreements here with that. Okay, number two, number two. Bioshock Infinite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bioshock Infinite, one of the best games. Yes, now. just it gets a little repetitive at times, but that story is amazing enough to keep me driven. Really? All right. Yeah. All right. Fun, fun, fun. I, I I still have no disagreements here. No surprises so far. What is your favorite game of 2013? 
Batman Arkham <laughs> Origins. <laughs> Batman kicked everybody's ass. Woo! Talk yeah, about that game. That game. Holy shit! I know. You know what really amazes me is a lot of people still had problems with that game. Like not. Not, problems like how the story was and all that shit. I'm just like, what do you people hate about this? You guys are just being nitpicky now. You sound like Hamill. I know, on it. It's it kind of turns. I, I really want to believe that that's what people are having a problem with. Not Ooh, Mark Hamill, yeah, not Kevin yeah, Conroy. Yet another prequel done right, epic. Yeah, I know. Well, like I think we did a or one of our la- last bloody screens. We kind of talked about how Epic kind of decided. That, yeah, we're kind of done with gears. So, yeah, well, the the guy that created Gears left Epic, so. Oh yeah, he was done after three, the and then the judgment kind of just showed why you know he had a big hand <laughs> in that game, a big hand. Uh, all right, next award. Um, let's go with the uh, biggest disappointment. Ooh, we'll just, we'll just flip flop everywhere. All right, what is your biggest disappointment of this year? Dead Space Three. Really? Yeah. Okay, you have to describe this one to me because I wasn't. That surprises me. Yeah, well, because Dead Space Three was a game I was really, really looking forward to because I love the ever living shit out of one and two. And mm-hmm. now I'm not saying Dead Space Three is a bad game. I'm just saying it was kind of lackluster compared to the other two. I, I can agree. Well, I think it. You know, all right. This my opinion <laughs> with Dead Space Three is I think it's still better than one. Uh, one actually has some scares that, you know, that none of the other ones can match. But one scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Story-wise, though, one is dog shit. And yeah. then you get two, which I think two is the best in the series. I, I agree with that. Yeah. And three, I think they, you know, they could have landed it. They can't, they couldn't land three. <laughs> you know, they were, they were, do, it starts out strong, it's doing fine, doing fine, and then you get towards the last third of the game and it just kind of just stumbles over itself and then kind of gets butt fucked by its own mythology in my opinion. Yeah, and th- th- like I said, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I do oh, no. enjoy this game. I'm just saying it was kind of disappointing to me. Yeah, I I could see the disappointment and it was all right. Um what was your biggest surprise then? Biggest surprise? Diablo 3. <laughs> okay, I have to ask, what was your initial thoughts when I handed you, when you first saw Diablo on our bloody times? Uh, what did like, you think mm-hmm. was going to happen? I I had no idea what to expect. You know, I was like, oh, great, some shitty RPG, and just this is going to be boring. <laughs> but, and, and it turns out to be addicting as fuck. Oh, yeah, especially playing the wizard where I just couldn't even get touched. <laughs> For some reason, now I'm picturing you can't touch this plane every time you're playing the game. <laughs> can't touch this. Doom, doom, doom. You're making your wizard do the little weird shuffle back and forth. Doom, doom, hey, doom, doom. I'd, I'd be lying <laughs> if I said I didn't sing that every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that That is a fantastic game. And you know what? It, it's kind of one of those funny things where I hear people... I've mentioned Diablo 3, and they've only seen screenshots of it. I really have to recommend people... Don't look at screenshots. Don't look at gameplay videos because they won't convince you. You're going to be like, oh, it's a top-down RPG. Yeah, a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I wasn't convinced till I you made me sit down and actually play it. Yeah, once you fucking get that controller in your hands or mouse and keyboard, whatever the fuck you choose, I don't really care, you will be like, holy shit, I understand this now. I understand why this is so addicting. It's simple as fuck, too, because all it is is jam on the A button, use this power, jam on the A button, hey, you got more loot. You know, it's not really the most complicated RPG. I mean, you know, The Witcher is way more complicated than this. Well, yeah. But it's still amazingly fun. Uh, yeah, I have to agree with you with that one. Biggest, I wouldn't say it was a surprise for me because I hear how much, you know, people jerk off to Diablo all the time. But... Yeah, people jerk off to World of Warcraft, too. That doesn't mean I'm going to play it. <clears throat> Nikki G. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. And now. It's time for the moment everyone's been waiting for. Would you think it would be the game of the year? But no, it's your reward for whatever the fuck you want to give it my, to. My award is the what the fuck award. <laughs> and it goes to Deadpool, the video game. <laughs> yes, the what the fuck award. All right. Because words, people- words cannot describe the crazy shit that happens in this game. You you think Saints Row games are crazy? Nah, Deadpool's got them beat by a mile. Deadpool almost has Suda 51 on the... <laughs> you know, like, people who haven't played the Suda 51 games, they're crazy. You play Deadpool, he's just like, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. 
you know, logic, pff, you know what, this character's going to be a taco now. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and it is just, it is butt fucks insane. And honestly, I, I, yeah. I can't think of a, you know, the only game I can think would could compete with that. And that's game you missed would be, uh, Killer's Dead, which is the Suda 51 game that came out this year. But I even have to say Deadpool probably has that beat. Yeah. That, that, that game will get, I guarantee at some point you, while th- through the laughter and the tears, you will be saying, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh God. Yes. And you know what? It, if it's one of the, it's I, that would be the funniest game of the year too. If, you know. Oh yeah, like I it, tell people, it, it's like imagining the funniest movie you've ever seen, but make it six hours long. Ex- oh god, and and it continues to be funny. It never gets stale at all. They continue on with the crazy jokes, and all my, you know, I all I can say is Nick, I want to see a sequel to this game. I want to, I want to have a series of Deadpool games where they're just <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy taking on at the X-Men universe in just funny ass ways. That's all I could say. That that is probably one of my favorite uh honestly Nick, that's probably one of my favorite like just comic book mo- uh, video games out there just cuz it's just so goddamn funny. That's my favorite Marvel comic book video yeah. game. Well, yeah, besides Batman's cuz of course Batman made your game of the year, which I was a little surprised that Deadpool didn't make on your top 3. I it would have, but the uh the gameplay. Uh, yeah, the gameplay does get a little repetitive. But yeah, the the jokes make it worth playing. Oh, exactly. It's jokes and, you know, yeah, basically the jokes are the only thing really worth. The jokes and then, yeah, it's just... I, I would even... say the story, but the story only makes sense it, to Deadpool. Yeah, the story is only... Yeah. <laughs> and, and it, you know, it, it, Deadpool is, almost becomes one of my... You know, he's became a lot of people's favorite comic book characters and it's you know it's the best thing though nick is how crazy that game sold oh yeah that game sold amazing because every deadpool fan in the world just like oh fuck yes but that is it everybody that is nick his top five or uh, top three his best of list let's put it that way his best of list of 2013 uh nick can the people say will you be on the movie side of the best of list which will be all of us just in one area not individually yeah, recorded. Sure, I'll do that. All right, I'll, well, you know, well, we have to wait for... Uh, is, is it today? No, it's we have to wait till at least Hobbit comes out. Oh, uh, true, yes, because that's, that's going to be that's gonna be on there. Yeah. I, I don't even need to see it, that's going to be on there. I know, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat, I'm like, you know what, it's going to be hard. But, you know, that's for another time, folks. That's another time. That was Nick's Top 5. Whether you agree or disagree, let us know what you think by either emailing us, putting in our... Uh, forms putting in the comment section for wherever you see this posted at we will get back to you as quickly as we can as in we i, I mean mostly me nick will never find and you. i will say since since i will never find you i'm just going to put a forward out to those of you who agree congratulations on being correct to those who disagree <laughs> suck it for those who disagree go fuck yourself